But you know what's interesting? My son Jake is graduating high school, and they announced the other day that they're going to have a prom. If you remember last year when COVID hit, they canceled everything, right? Yeah. So they're having a prom. And normally when you have a prom, if I can remember, I think I went to two proms. Uh, you know, you have like a, you do it at a hotel or something like that, like a ballroom or something. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are doing it because of COVID, like outside the school in a quad area, like a weird thing. Uh-huh. And so Jake was going to go with a bunch of his buddies. And then uh, they decided not to go. So now they're not going. What? And my wife is disappointed and yeah. bummed out. And I'm like, I get it. Don't it's go. A, it's a, like once in a lifetime experience. When are you going to go to prom again? Never. Well, I know. Yeah. I kind of feel like he may look back on it and go, I probably should have gone. I don't know. Because I, I feel I, like I, later I, you missed out on something. You don't know what it is. Even if you go and it's lame, yeah. you went. You saw it. Yeah. And it's like if he would have gone junior year, okay, cool. Like he got to see it. But he didn't get that. So at least his senior prom. Like I went to my prom. And I don't remember anything except for I see the pictures that come up once a year in my memories. You have your pic, your prom pictures though. Yeah, that you've used multiple times. Yeah, because of this what radio is show. What on yeah. in life? Jake <laughs> needs a prom picture for something, uh-huh. and then he never has it. Well, like Rich's prom picture, he didn't really go to prom. He DJed his prom. It's true. So it's just me in turntables, not That's a date. Cool. And do you think Rich feels like he missed out? <laughs> no, no, because he was there. And I'm the only one that made money at prom. That's think right. about it. Everybody yeah. else had to spend money on limos. And I had him set up for tuxedo, you know. So we're gonna go get fitted for tuxedo on Saturday. And I actually was preparing myself to get emotional seeing my son in a tuxedo. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then he was like, "Nah, we're not going, Dad." So, oh. so I don't know. So it was oh, kind of weird. I feel like you should try to help uh, him. I, See, he might be missing something. I know. I know you don't like doing anything, but you should still convince him to go. I, and then my son kept like, I'm never going to prom. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, I totally, I totally, Dutch totally get it. Dutch will be prom king. I totally get yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dutch, Dutch is yeah. going to prom. Yeah. Dutch will go to prom with the, the, sure. the senior prom this year. With, the, yeah. with like five girls. Yeah. Prom, right, that's a little different. That's, that's a different ballgame. Right, so Peyton sent this email, and I read it this morning. I have to tell you how much it influenced me because – she what what it's the Bieber email what would you what happened to you and Justin Bieber oh my gosh so the other day like it was actually last week my mom and my dad were telling me um hey do you remember when you were like in the fifth grade that you had meet and greet tickets to meet Justin Bieber and this is like my world he's blowing up he's like 14 15 right and I apparently decided to go to my basketball game instead of meeting Justin Bieber Mm. and I met with an old friend yesterday for lunch and she brought up hey do you remember when we didn't go to Justin Bieber (laughs) and meet Justin Bieber and for some reason I literally do not remember this choosing to go to the basketball game instead of meeting Justin Bieber because right now you're you're a believer I love Justin Bieber I've always loved Justin Bieber but in my head I'm like what is wrong with you why would you not go meet Justin (laughs) Bieber he's a pop star he's a pop star especially like right now actually since he's been famous he's always been massive like Mm -hmm. to be 14 year old girl and not want to go meet Justin Bieber and now were your my, parents here? They... my basketball game. What? Look at me now. Am I playing? Yeah, but the look. No. Yeah, but you got you got a full <laughs> ride scholarship to a Division one school. Yeah, but where am I now? I didn't. I didn't finish. Up the <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're in a position where maybe you will meet Justin Bieber. He comes through here all That's the time. Hey, Justin Bieber, if you're listening to this, like we gotta, we gotta talk. We gotta meet. Like, well, <laughs> so I read your email. And I was thinking, so that I put, I, I haven't worn shorts to the studio in a long time, and I'm wearing my Justin Bieber Drew shorts because of her email. So you see, I said, look, <laughs> Drew, Drew. Oh my oh, gosh, yeah. I didn't even notice that. You should have worn the Crocs too. Yeah, do you always so... feel like those are on backwards? I know, I do. Do you? Okay. I, so, this the is his... in the Crocs. Yeah. Yeah, I, feel like. it's, I wore the Crocs this morning when I was in the hot tub. Um, the the Drew line right here that he has, it's weird because his pockets have these zippers in them, uh-huh. and it hurts every time I put my hand in the pockets. I don't know if they, you know how- Oh, well, like, like scratches you? Yeah, like this was his first line, and now it's been, I, I got these a couple years ago, and I'm wondering if I ever talked to him about fashion. I'll be like, did you get rid of that? Because every time I put my hand in my pocket, I take skin off. Or like, you know, change how the zip, because I feel like as a guy- Especially you, John Jay, because you put your keys in your pocket and you've mm-hmm. lost them like more than a handful of times. I feel like you would like the zipper because I then do. you zip them in. I like that about Nike, my Nike sweats. I mm-hmm. had that side pocket. I throw my keys in there and I never fall out. But here, the, these zippers hurt my hand. They're a rough ones. Those are yeah. metal. I want all of you to stick your hands in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>